Later this week will mark three years since the Syrian conflict began. Around 750 prisoners at a Washington state immigration jail have launched a hunger strike. The strikers at the Northwest Detention Center are protesting the Obama administration's record deportations, as well as poor conditions that include wages of just a dollar a day for prison labor. Some areas of the prison have been locked down, and around 30 people are reportedly being held in isolation or crowded cells. Speaking Friday, two prisoners appealed for public support. So that they give us better food, so that they give us lower prices than what they sell here in the commissary, and so that they stop the deportations. I'm hoping we can get some support from all the people who are listening, because don't believe what you hear. Life in here is not very easy. They have us here working for one dollar a day. We work for four hours, five hours sometimes, for just one dollar. The prison is run by the for-profit company, the Geo Group, a contractor for immigration and customs enforcement. According to The Nation magazine, Geo recently violated a pledge to refrain from lobbying Congress on immigration reform, presumably in favor of for-profit jails. Over 100 families are expected to take part in a protest against deportations today on the U.S.-Mexico border. The families, including many undocumented members, say they'll cross over into Mexico and then seek re-entry in the United States through a humanitarian visa or asylum. The U.S. Border Patrol has issued fresh restrictions on when agents can open fire. Under the new rules, customs and border agents are barred from shooting at vehicles whose occupants are trying to flee. They're also prevented from stepping in front of the vehicle or using their body to block it in the case of escape. In cases where migrants are throwing rocks, agents have been told to first seek cover or move away and only open fire in cases of imminent danger of death or serious injury. A recent report found U.S. border agents have been involved in 20 fatalities since 2010, eight of which involved rock throwing. Agents were also involved in at least 67 shooting incidents at the same period. The new policy reverses a decision last year that ignored an independent panel's recommendation to use restraint with rock throwers.